Well, technology and computers play a valuable role in our school these days, but how much technology is too much? Well, one Ontario school board decided their kids have crossed a line. They're streaming so much video from sites like Netflix and YouTube that it's using up much of the district's bandwidth, not to mention how it's distracting kids in class. Jennifer Tryon reports on the efforts to get kids offline. <coughs> is no earmarked novel hidden in a math textbook or doodles on a scrap piece of full scap. On-demand movies and TV via smartphone, tablet or computer are the new distraction du jour at school. Whenever I'm not at home and I don't have my computer. One in three Canadian households with kids also have Netflix and kids are bringing those accounts to school. And sometimes, like, I'll catch up, like, on a show if we're not doing anything in class. Using up expensive bandwidth, not for studying, but for streaming. Students are spending so much time watching Netflix at the York Regional District School Board outside of Toronto. This week, the board banned the Netflix IP address. An internal email sent to principals and teachers obtained by Global News states, at times, Netflix is eating up one-third of all network capacity board-wide. I know it's bad. <laughs> if you have a spare and you want to like catch up on a show or you're feeling bored and you want to watch it, that's like what Netflix is for. Initially, uh, I was quite disturbed. 50% of this professor's first year students at the University of Toronto, he noticed were watching something besides him in class. They're either watching YouTube, watching movies. With so many students tuned out but tuned in to their technology, he says he was forced to change the way he taught. I often make use of students' connections to the internet to ask them questions on the spot so that they can actually find the answer uh, instantly. A survey of Canadian teens found that unless teachers incorporate new digital media into their lessons, kids view education as irrelevant and outdated. We're making it harder to teach them the skills that they need now and that they're going to need even more when they get out into the workplace. It's unclear in York whether banning Netflix is about getting kids offline and into books or whether the board is simply preserving the cost of all of that extra bandwidth. Jennifer Tryon, Global News, Toronto.